Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning. I hope you're having a great week so far. We're going to jump back into the Word this morning for some morning minutes in the Word. This week, we're looking at a few verses out of Psalm 37. On, on Monday, we looked at Psalm 37, 4, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So we need to delight. We need to find our joy, our delight in the Lord, and uh, he'll give us the desires. Remember, that doesn't mean that if we desire a car, a truck, money, whatever, that he'll give us our desires, but rather he will give us the desire, the actual desire itself of what we need to have. When we're following after the Lord, delighting in the Lord, then we will desire to live for him. We will desire to do that which pleases him. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the next verse. So when we delight in the Lord, he'll give us the desires of our heart. Verse 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You know, there's a lot of different things we could say in this verse, but the one that really jumped out to me is that first phrase, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Commit those things that you want to do. Commit those uh, the path of your life. Commit everything that you're going to do. Commit that to the Lord. Give that to him. Uh, you know, trust him with it. Uh, be committed to what it is that he wants you to do. Uh, commit your way unto the Lord. You know, that word commit, uh, or we might say commitment, you know, we've all heard it at different times. Now, I mean, hey, maybe at some point in your life you've been told you have a problem with commitment. Uh, you know, maybe at some point in your life you just couldn't commit to a certain relationship. And, and so you, you, you know what that means to be committed. On a different different note, you know, instead of relationships, maybe you were, uh, I remember when I was a kid going to a public pool and going up on the high dive and, and how difficult it was, you know, you, you, when you're on the water looking up, it's like, oh man, that'd be great to jump off of that. But once you're up on that high dive, the world becomes a lot scarier and it feels like maybe it's three or four times higher than it was whenever you're looking at it down there. But you have to go to the edge and then what do you have to do? You have to just commit to jump. Your other option is to go backwards and to go down the ladder and say, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And everyone below you has to back up and let you down. You have to commit to it. Then there's other things in life that we commit to. You, you commit to, uh, you know, maybe it's in sports, different things. You committed to that sport and your parents said, hey, if I sign you up for this, you've got to be committed to it. You've got to play. And we could talk about commitment in so many different areas. We are to commit our way to the Lord. We're to give it to him and then follow through with it. We're to give it to him and not try to give it back or take it back. We are to give our way, commit our way into the Lord. Lord, I don't know what you want me to do with my life, but I'm not going to hold on to it any longer. I'm going to give my life, my job, everything about my life to you. I'm committing it to you and I'm going to trust you with it. And I'm going to follow you with it because it says, commit thy way into the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. When we trust him and we commit to whatever, to commit to doing whatever he wants us to do, listen, he's going to take us through. And it may be that it's going to be something hard, but he's going to watch us. He's going to be with us. He's going to give us the direction that we need. He's going to give us the desires that we need. And we just need to commit our way unto him. So how about it? Are you committed today? Be committed to the Lord. You guys take care. We'll be back here on Friday to finish out the week.